Hi, this is how to install Git on your computer. Uh, first open a browser. And type in the URL git download. Click on git downloads. It's going to give you the download for uh, the, the latest version of the git. Um, for Windows, if you want to see the details, you can click on Windows and it's going to tell you which one. So you can actually select the proper thing for your operating system, either 32 bit or 64 bit. If you don't know what is the type of the operating system you have on your Windows, click uh, open the File Explorer, right click on this PC, and click on Properties. Then over here it says what is the system type now i have a 40 64 bit operating system in this virtual machine and that's what i'm going to choose so i'm going to choose 64 bit git for windows it's going to download it then click the to open and the window is going to nag if you want to out of this application to make changes obviously we're going to say yes we can close the browser now click next and everything goes just by default you don't need to do anything just click next 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 and keep going until this part so in here you it's going to tell you how do you want the command line for git to work um, you can use a, when the, there are three different ways of running a command line for git so one is to git bash only which means it separates a, um, a command line that is a Linux command prompt and you can only it's a simulated limit Linux um, command prompt that you can only issue git commands through that uh, through Windows prompt which means you are going to uh, uh, you, you'll, you'll be able to run command prompts for git from any command prompt uh, in Windows and you say you uh, the third one uh, that says use git an optional Unix tools from the Windows command prompt if you select this one it not only allows you to issue git commands from the command prompt what the but uh, the the most um, common uh, Unix tools that you have you can still run it uh, you can you run those things from Windows command prompt too I like that but this may have conf uh, create a conflict with command prompts that you have on Windows so uh, if you're not sure use the second one otherwise the third one the rest again keep going next next and until uh, uh, it's done and install and that installs git and after the installation we can actually test and see if git works or not okay uh, we don't want to view anything just gonna close it and after closing just uh, click on start and over there you can either type command to open command prompt or type cmd so now I'm here I'm just gonna say git and voila it works so git runs from anywhere you want now because I asked it to uh, I, I selected the second option uh, I can um, use Linux command too so I can say ls and it's gonna run the uh, Unix command for ls so um, it's kinda cool that you can run Linux commands on your on your Windows too that's how you install git